Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed your virtual field trip yesterday to the zoo. Today is Tuesday, May 19th, and I want to tell you about your activity for today. So yesterday you were at the zoo, um, and you noticed animals and their different habitats. Today I want you to pretend that you are a zoologist and you've discovered a new species of animal, an animal that has never been discovered. Very exciting. Um, and so you are going to be telling us and teaching us all about the new animal you discovered. So you are going to step one, color an illustration of your animal. Remember, this is not a real animal. This is a pretend animal that you are making up. Number two, you're going to give your animal a name. And this is not a name just for your animal like you call your dog um, Buddy, but this is the name of all of the species of animal. You are going to write about your animal's basic needs. What does it need to live? You are going to describe how your animal has adapted to its environment where it lives. And then you're going to draw your animal and its habitat. Um, some great things you can add are um, text features like labels or maybe have some bold words in your fact sheet or draw a map of the habitat or have some captions to describe the picture. So this is what you are going to use. You're going to name your animal. You're going to write down some of its needs in sentences. You're going to draw your animal. You're going to write down some adaptations it has in order to live in its habitat. What parts of its body does it need? You're going to draw the habitat and describe the habitat. So I'll show you mine so you know what I'm talking about. So here's my animal. I gave it a name. I discovered this animal. It is not a real animal. I call it the Slitherachnid. And so I drew it. It's part spider, but instead of having spider legs, it has snakes for legs. Pretty horrifying. So this is my animal that I discovered. No one has ever seen it before. The Slitherachnid. So I drew my picture. Um, a better picture would have labels. Um, a better picture would have more color in it than mine. Then I wrote about the animal's needs. So what does a slitherachnid need to live? Well, this animal needs to drink water, it needs to breathe air, and it needs small animals to eat. Some adaptations. This may have been confusing for you, but maybe if you see mine, it will make sense. What does the slitherachnid have on its body to allow it to live in its habitat? Slow. So this animal has eight legs, and each leg moves like a snake, which helps the slitherachnid move easily through trees. So its habitat is trees, and this, these snake legs help it live there. The legs also help this animal to catch small prey like mice to eat. So the adaptation is that these legs that are that act like snakes on the slitherachnid help it to move in trees and to catch mice. Now here's a picture of my habitat. To make it even better, you would put your animal in the habitat or draw a map of the habitat. Uh, my habitat uh, description says the slitherachnid lives in the trees of the Amazon rainforest. So that's where you can find this brand new discovered by me animal. After you complete this activity, then you're going to read for 20 minutes, an episode of Head Sprout, Imagine Learning, an Education Galaxy. Um, feel free to take a picture of your animal. I'd love to see it um, and see what kind of creative animal you have discovered. Have fun with this. And I want to see your creativity. All right. Talk to you guys soon.